Holy shit! I was fucking kidding, man! <laughs> Welcome to hour four of my drunk Halloween marathon. So for the next three hours, we're going to go on a bit of a journey here. Um, a guy named McGee, who's probably most famous for directing Terminator Salvation. I know he's done a lot of like uh, TV shows. I, I remember seeing his name on like Chuck. I don't know how involved he was, but his name was on Chuck as producer. And that can get very fuzzy, by the way. Like, I'm not going to get into it, but like, just because your name is like, you may have never seen a script for the show and be in uh, your name as a producer, or you could be heavily involved, you know? So it just really, you know, you never know. Good case in point, Brian Singer was uh, listed as a producer for all eight seasons of House, and he did direct the pilot, but he had very little to no involvement in the series after the, the first season, probably after the pilot. I mean, if we're going to be honest, he was off doing movies and shit, you know? So that's just one example. But McGee is most famous for being unable to defend his DP when Christian Bale is screaming at him and threatening to whip his fucking ass for adjusting the lights during the scene. <laughs> But my actually the thing I remember the most about McGee and Christian Bale was McGee wanted Christian Bale to be in Terminator Salvation. So he said, hey, you know, get get a hold of his agent and get me a meeting. And so Christian Bale's agent came to him and he said, um, well, McGee wants to you know have a meeting with you about a movie. And Christian Bale said, what the fuck is his name? And the agent said, McGee. He said, how's that spelled? Big M, little c, big G. He said, and Christian Bale's like, his name is McGee. And the agent says, yeah. I'm like, haven't you heard of him? He's done all this stuff. And Christian Bale interrupted him. He says, his name is McGee. He sounds like a fucking asshole. Forget it. So he wouldn't take the fucking meeting based simply on the fact that, like, the dude has a stupid fucking name. Which, by the way, is such a me thing. I mean, that's something I would totally do because I fucking hate stupid names. <laughs> anyway, point being, McGee did a couple Netflix movies. Back in 2017, he did a Netflix movie called The Babysitter. And then earlier this year in September, he did another Netflix movie called Babysitter Killer Queen. I did a little bit of nominal research. I didn't want to be spoiled, but I, like, they're, apparently one is the sequel to the other. So that's what I'm going to be doing for the next three hours. I'm going to do the Babysitter first, and then I'm going to do Babysitter Killer Queen. Now, each movie is 90 minutes long, so what I'm going to do is um, spread out, because, of course, you know, the reaction to each movie is going to be two videos. There's no way to fit in one video. Like, I'm surely I'll have more than 10 minutes of shit to say, right? So... Each one will be two videos, so I'm going to space these four videos out over the three hours. This video, of course, will be dropping at 4 a.m., you know, because you're looking at it like right now, you so you know. But if you're watching this in real time, um, the next three videos will be spaced out with the last video dropping at 6 a.m. So it'll, that'll cover the three hours of this marathon, these two movies. I have no idea what to expect. I may really regret doing this. Like, these movies could be fucking terrible. But the fact that, like, it got a sequel, it must have been at least good enough to get a sequel. So, and McGee is a semi-competent filmmaker. Terminator Salvation wasn't god-awful. I mean, it wasn't as bad as the movies that followed it in the franchise. So, you know, I'm moderately optimistic. And, you know, I've always got my drink. So there we go. Let's get into this shit. I'm not scared. I can't imagine that Spirit of Needles will come into play at any point in this movie. I'm sure it won't. That was completely random and, you know. What class did you learn that in? No one learns anything in class school. That's why we have the internet. Jesus. That's why you have really terrible, terrible fucking teachers. Can we give Cole a ride home? Cole, are your parents expecting you to take the bus home? I guess so. Yeah, they are. So you should take the bus, okay, sport? What a dick. Sorry, dude. I'll see you, though, neighbor, huh? No, you won't see shit, bitch. This is a horror movie, right? Like, I think it's a horror comedy movie. I can't wait to see him get ripped apart like a stale dinner roll. Ugh, that's going to be awesome. It takes talent to make you hate a character in 30 seconds or less. That takes a lot of fucking talent. Believe in him will value what happens to his dick. You know how it was? I like his minions. It reminds me of the minions on uh, Live and Maddie. That dude, uh, Artie, I think the character's name was. He had these minions. It was fucking hilarious. Right, it was. Well, and here we got some more characters I can't so wait to weird. see get ripped apart like stale dinner rolls. We're on a roll, man. I already hate four characters, and this movie is, what, three minutes old? Did you just touch Cole? <laughs> Jeremy, check it out. She'll kick Did your you ass, that's what. Bitch. <laughs> She's gonna peg you. <laughs> What's up, bitch? <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. 
<laughs> this movie's called The Babysitter, so clearly she's evil. But hey, I'm I'm here for this, man. I don't mind evil if it works for me. It's kind of like when Xander wanted the helmet out to work for him, man. Like you, as long as evil's working for you, it's all good, baby. You look away when you lie, dude. <laughs> you know and then drop like a bag of rocks, and then when they trip over you and they're on the ground, kick them in the dick. Jesus Christ, man. How have I not heard about this movie? Okay, so tell me, how's it folks? We're like fucking five, five and a half minutes in, I got half a Woody. This chick is awesome. Oh, come on, it's great. For me, I, I'm sure you guys have seen enough of my reactions now. It's not about the looks for me. It's about how fucking psychotic is she? Because I'm attracted to crazy. <laughs> this bitch is crazy, man. And I'm here for it. All right, tomorrow night, you, me, party. She's quite oh, evil, you know. She's going to be sacrificing you with the live goat. Just, just wanted you to know, kid. Look at this dick. God, I can't wait for him to get ripped apart. Traps, please. Thanks. Maybe the mom is evil. I don't know who the fuck is. Somebody's ass is evil. And it's probably feminine. Because that's how this shit works. Your dad is binging on Mad Men again. You went like It's on HBO. Well, it's not, it's, I've never seen Mad Men. Let me know if you guys want me to do it. Dense. That's what babies do. They put the kids down, sneak their boyfriends in, doing it. Hey, it happened to me once. Matter of fact, um, I was around nine or ten, I think. My babysitter locked me out of the house so she could have sex with her boyfriend, which I guess is responsible because you know um, she didn't want me to see her having sex. But on the other hand, I was outside the house locked out at nighttime, so kind of 50 50, I guess. What up, C? What up, B? That kind of works, actually. Hey, C and B. I like it. Oh, you know, can't complain. Good. Oh, where to this weekend? Uh, the Hyatt. Living large. Man, they must be fucking interesting. Um, now I'm starting to think that the parents are evil, not the babysitter. Because the parents keep going away and doing mysterious shit. I'm dubious. I'm dubious. Great. Plus, I will be the, envy of women the, the father is a really good comedic actor, but he also can do uh, scary stuff. I've seen him do roles. I think it was uh, Reaper, where he could be fucking intimidating and shit, right? So, um, I can totally see him. Like, you know, they don't seem like. This doesn't seem like throwaway casting, is what I'm saying. Where he's at the beginning of the movie, at the end of the movie, they come back just in time for the boy to defeat the babysitter who's trying to sacrifice him to a live goat or whatever. I don't think that's how it works. You don't get sacrificed to a live goat. But maybe she's not evil. Like, I don't know. We'll see. I gotta make a... Okay, I gotta take a stand. I can't be wishy-washy. I'm calling it the parents are evil, not the babysitter. Maybe I'll regret this, but that's my prediction. Well, it doesn't look to me like I really have any choice now, does it? <laughs> what the right. fuck are they watching? I'm gonna... Well, first be watching some dumbass shit, man. I'm just saying. Really? Is that Billy Jack? Okay, I take it back. I take it back. I have fond memories of Billy Jack. I haven't seen it in 40 years, but I have fond memories of it. Isn't that the cute chick across the street? Miss Dreyer is not cute. <laughs> you know what she meant, motherfucker. Don't play a player. You know what the fuck she meant. I, you'll be all right if your parents break up. I mean, do you mind if like they get divorced first before you give the pep talk? Jesus Christ, man! You, you go to the dark place fast. Now remember, you don't say a word of this to your parents. Is that really liquor? Holy My shit! Lets me drink mics all the time. So oh, okay. Cool Mike's hard lemonade. Yeah, actually, that was my gateway drug. Mike's hard lemonade. I didn't start drinking until I was like, I, I, I take it back. I would drink socially, you know, like um, margaritas. All through my 20s and 30s, I would drink margaritas and shit. But um, once Dad died, I was super depressed. And so I started drinking Mike's Hard Lemonade. And, you know, I wasn't so depressed anymore. And so I've really only been drinking heavily for about three years, which is why I can do this, because, like, my, you know, liver hasn't been getting punished for fucking 25 years, you know. But anyway, like, I like my, I don't drink my hard lemonade anymore, but it's what got me to the hard stuff. It was my gateway drug. Thanks for knowing me and treating me like I was okay. You don't think you're okay? Oh. There's some serious trauma here, baby. Like, how did you not see this? I want to feel normal, but... 
just feel weird most of the time. That's everybody, man. Well, I like weird. Everybody's weird. Every single person on the fucking planet is weird. To somebody. You know? People that put that have the weird ass facial hair where they, they don't have the mustache but they have the beard, that's weird. And they think we're weird for not doing it, right? Everybody's fucking weird, man. How do we, how do you not know this? Perv. <laughs> How much shit have people got into because their friends instigated them? Yep, he's here finding the babysitter sacrifice on a live camel. I'm ready. Oh. I know it was you, Fredo. I know it was you. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love a good Godfather reference. There are so few of them. Most of them suck. That's what I thought, motherfucker. Not everybody gets a kiss on the lips. Gonna lick my face. <laughs> hey man, she can lick whatever she wanted. <laughs> the actress is 28. I'm not being creepy. I don't know how lo how old the character is supposed to be, but you know, the actress is 28. It's fun. I did look her up before I made any lewd comments. So <laughs> that's how I knew her name was Samara. This is kind of weird. Then why are you yeah, here, motherfucker? Really you. Just close your eyes, okay? Pretend they're not even here. I couldn't do this whole like kissing after people, man. She done kissed three other motherfuckers, man. Fuck this. I'm too much of a germaphobe, man. I was a germaphobe before COVID. I wonder if she's, like, taking the soul of everybody she's kissed. Oh, shit. Holy shit. I was fucking kidding, man. I was fucking kidding. I couldn't even process, man. I could, for a second there, I couldn't even fucking process what she just did. God damn. I, I literally thought it was a parents. I was fucking... I was sure it was a parents. Well, this is like the runaways, man. Look at this shit. That would go viral so <laughs> hard. I mean, nobody's done human These sacrifice. people are degenerates, people man. Have always done human also, she didn't know she was evil, which put Jeff Goldblum above Ripley. Want to hear us? With the amount of drugs I gave him? Hell no. Oh, she drugged the drink that he didn't take. Hey, boy. That's brilliant. Do you have the needle? Oh, shit. Of course I have I knew that shit was going to come into play. God damn it, man. Damn, I missed the vein. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, prolong this shit, you cocksuckers. I cannot, I, like, I'm still staggered, man. I haven't been that shocked in a long time. That fucking came out of nowhere. I was expecting some shit with the parents. Like, I was just, like, I, it's been a while since I've been that shocked. Time to get the fuck out of here, boy. You know, McG has a stupid fucking name, but I like the way he's shooting this. A lot of his choices are like, I don't like the whole, like, you know, pocket knife. Well, thanks for that caption, dumbass. But this shit here is really cool. I like it. The fuck you want? Why is he shirtless? That's your first question? Yeah, Man, motherfucker. We all want to know, can okay. he remedy that situation? Give him a cookie. Oh, thanks. Eat the cookie. Eat a dick, just, bitch. Uh, really, just drink it because I wanted you to think I was cool, so. I don't know. I why still don't like the captions, man. It's, it's, like I, it's still stupid. Why is his shirt covered in blood? Because no one would let me borrow a shirt. Oh, that's why he's shirtless. I just got it. Oh my God. Jesus, I'm slow. I thought he was shirtless just to show this off, right? What's up, you know? Oh, it's so cute. You're still cutting the rope. Look at you. You're really trying there, aren't you? Yeah, well, what else am I supposed to do? Just lay here and die, motherfucker? Rope. He's still cutting the rope. So it's a turban, little fucker, aren't you? Can you stop narrating everything I do, bitch? Like them. And they can forget for one minute how sad they are in general. He's not a pussy. I take it back. He's That's not a pussy. pretty good. Oh, fucking hell, man. Why is that one bitch like all panicking the cheerleader? Is she not built for this? Holy shit. Again, again with the blood in the mouth. <laughs> the fuck am I watching this? This is like the best thing ever. How have I not heard about this movie?
Thank you.